Not that long ago, people were using a canoe, or a version of canoe, as their main mode of transportation when crossing bodies of water. These days, we primarily use a canoe for touring on recreational trips into the wilderness, and as a way to step back from the busyness in our lives and be closer to nature. My name is Caesar with Artistry of Adventure, and in this episode, we talk all about canoeing. A canoe is a narrow boat, typically pointed at both ends, and is propelled through water by using a single bladed paddle. You can launch a canoe anywhere that you would typically send off other watercrafts. And canoes can travel rivers, lakes, reservoirs, or even the ocean. Once you are ready to go and everything is loaded into the boat, put on your life jacket and get into the canoe carefully, starting with the person at the rear. The person should be the more experienced paddler or more coordinated person, and it is best if they are the heaviest. Stabilize yourself as you move into place. Your partner should be holding the canoe steady, and then they should follow your lead into the craft. Push off the shore with your foot or paddles and use a backstroke to pull away from the beach. Then it's time to start paddling. The inside hand grabs the grip at the peak, while the lower hand grasps the paddle half to three quarter meters down the shaft. Lean forward, submerge the blade into the water, pull back into a sweeping motion, just as it passes your body, lift it from the water and repeat. You and your partner will both paddle on opposite sides of each other and at the same time while keeping in sync. You can turn to the canoe by paddling on the same side as one another. Draw, pull the paddle horizontally towards the boat or by using a J-stroke. Always make sure that your life jacket is securely done up at all times and is the proper chest size. This will prevent you from falling out if you decide to go swimming. Now you might be thinking, people flip these boats all the time. The truth is that the majority of canoeists rarely ever tip into the water. And you can prevent this from happening by doing the following. Canoe in ideal conditions. Maintain balance in the canoe by keeping the bulk of the weight in the belly and as low as possible. Keep your center of gravity wide, low, and in the center of the boat. Travel directly into or away from a wave. It goes without saying, don't stand in the canoe. When you are ready to return to shore, paddle towards land. Steer the canoe so you're pointed directly at the shoreline. Build momentum so the front of the vessel safely skims onto the beach. The person at the front can hop out to pull the canoe further into the shore. Then the person at the rear carefully steps back onto land. It doesn't matter short or long trip on the open water. Just be sure to take all the necessary safety precautions. Gain proper instruction on how to use a canoe and its techniques. Tell others where you are going and when you plan to be back. Check the weather and never take the journey in questionable conditions. Always wear an approved personal flotation device. Take first aid training and carry rescue gear. Dress for the weather, stay dry, to prevent hyperthermia and cooler temperatures. Damaged paddles, boats, PFDs, or other gear could make a basic setback worse. Gauge your physical ability before committing to a trip length. Ensure if you are traveling in a loop that you have enough energy to return. Never consume alcohol or drugs before or during a paddle. Understand your equipment and follow the manufacturer's recommendations for the use of their products. Always clean, drain, and dry any equipment used in the water before moving between water bodies to prevent the spread of aquatic, evasive species and other diseases. Canoeing is a slow-paced sport and can be done in any season. No matter when you go, you receive a powerful connection and you venture off into nature. The relaxing sounds of the environment surround you, water splashes against the side of your vessel, your paddle slices through the river on each stroke. You feel at peace as the fresh air surrounds you and you retreat into tranquility and escape the hustle of modern life. It's a satisfying and calming feeling to be on the water and it also provides a rewarding workout. We are the Artists of Adventure and we want to spark your creativity to help you experience adventure. Stay connected, hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more great advice and inspiration. Now get out there and face the elements.